OK, so today we're going to look at why you no longer need to pay for a VPN on your PC. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, you no longer have to pay for a VPN on your PC. So how do you get this free VPN? And as a bonus, it's actually made and supplied by Microsoft. So, you know, you can trust it. There's no adverts in it whatsoever. And you get a whopping five gigabytes of usage. Now, there are a few caveats. Now, first of all, you do need to have a Microsoft account to be able to access this VPN. Also, this VPN isn't going to enable you to change your geographical location such as country. It is going to hide your location, but you're going to be stuck with the same location. Say if you're, you're browsing from the UK, then the VPN will automatically connect you to the, VP, uh, to the UK VPN. But this is fine for most users. Also, because you only get five gigabytes of uh, free usage and you can't pay for any more at this current stage, it will automatically exclude the VPN or turn it off if you're streaming. Because if you're streaming something like Netflix, Amazon Prime or any of those streaming sites, then it's going to gobble up that free five gigabytes in next to no time. And whereas some VPNs have a no log policy where they don't keep logs of where you've been, it's very unlikely that Microsoft are going to adopt this policy. Now, there's a big misconception with a lot of people to why you actually need a VPN. Well, we're going to just go through those sort of misconceptions and uh, answer them before we go through this. So why would you need a VPN? Well, there's a few reasons you might need a VPN. Now, one of them is to stop websites from being able to f find your IP address, which most of the time is dynamically issued to you. So it means that when your router drops its internet connection, you're likely to get another IP address. Your IP address probably isn't personal to yourself in a lot of cases. The other reason is if you're using your laptop on a public Wi-Fi, then that would be a good idea to use a VPN. And this is ideal for that because when you're using a public Wi-Fi, say if you go into your local coffee shop and you connect to their Wi-Fi, do you know it's actually their Wi-Fi that you're connecting to? It could be a hacker sitting on a table a few tables away from you. And Without a VPN, he could be harvesting your information. The company that actually supplies the free Wi-Fi may be harvesting your information. It's very unlikely, but how do you know? You really don't know. Another reason that you might want to use a VPN, say if you just don't want your internet provider knowing what you're doing, what websites you're going to or what you're doing on the internet, then uh, that's a good reason for using a VPN. The other reason, which obviously doesn't apply with this VPN, is if you want to alter your geographical location. So say, for instance, you have got, say, Netflix and you are living in, say, a foreign country or staying in a foreign country and you're not getting the choice of movies or TV shows that you would get in your home country, then in that case, you can switch the VPN on. And as long as they haven't blocked that VPN, you will get the choice as if you were back home. Now, a lot of people think having a VPN will stop you getting a virus and it will stop you getting scammed. No, it won't. In some cases, a VPN could block dangerous websites, but it's not its primary job, its primary function is to hide your activities on the internet. Also, if you get a phone call from somebody who claims they're from Microsoft or your bank or your internet provider and wants you to perhaps install software on your PC or do something to your PC to allow them access. Now, a VPN isn't going to stop them from doing that, nor is an antivirus. So please be careful if you do get a phone call from anybody and they ask you to install anything on your computer, do not do it. Consult with a trusted friend or a relative first. Put the phone down. But as, as I say, a VPN isn't going to protect you against that. If you open up a dodgy email, again, a VPN 
probably won't protect you against that. Yet that's your virus checker that's likely to protect you against that. But steering on the side of caution is the best method in that scenario. So don't open any attachments, don't click on any links if you open an email that you think might be dodgy. So let's get back to this VPN. So how do we get it? Well, we've got to make sure that Microsoft Edge is up to date. So first things first, open up Microsoft Edge and then go to the three horizontal dots in the top right hand corner, click on that. Go to help and feedback and then go across and go down to about Microsoft Edge. OK, that will check for any updates that will make sure that you've got the latest version. If it starts downloading an update, then let it go through, let it download that update and let the browser restart. So once your browser is up to date, then what you want to do is again, you want to click on those three dots up there and then find browser essentials. Click on browser essentials and then you want to scroll down and you should see there Microsoft Edge Secure Network. OK, so click on Get VPN for free. And if you're already signed in, there you go. That will basically activate the VPN. And I just want to show you what happens if, say, for instance, you're not already signed in with your Microsoft account. So if you're not already signed in, when you click Get VPN for free, it will ask you to log in with your Microsoft account. So and it'll also give you a chance to create a Microsoft account if you haven't got one. So just follow those instructions there. So if you've already got a Microsoft account or you've created one and you've signed in, then you should see this here. You should see Microsoft Secure Network VPN just there. And that should be turned on. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off with that switch there. We want to go into the settings for it. So if we just click the three dots up there, click on manage network settings, and we've got a couple of options in here. So we can turn on the VPN just for selected sites. So if we've got a couple of sites that we really just want to turn this on for, then we can click select sites and that says their VPN automatically turns on when you visit a site included in your customized used VPN site list. Conserves VPN data by routing all other traffic outside the secure network and it gives you five gigabytes of free VPN per month. So what if you want to add websites to your selected sites list? So click on manage secure network sites just below it and here you can actually click under add a site under always use secure network for the sites you choose. You can click, click add a site and you can type in the site's address. So say, for instance, I always wanted to use a VPN when visiting the BBC, say, for instance. So let's just type in its address, https colon forward slash forward slash www.bbc.co.uk. OK, click add. And there you go. That means whenever I go to the BBC, it will always go onto the VPN. What if you want to exclude a website? So under here, you've got never use secure network for these sites. So if we click add a site there and say if I wanted to say, right, if ever I go to Google, then I don't want it to go onto the VPN. I can type in there Google's address. Then I click add. And there you go. So now it's saying if I go to the bbc.co.uk, it will turn the VPN on. If I go to Google, it will turn it off and we can go through. And if we want to, we can remove those if we want to uh, adjust the list at any time. We can keep adding more sites as well. The other way we can do it is if we go to a particular website. So let's just go to Yahoo. I've still got on the uh, on on the side here, my Microsoft Edge secure network, and there you go. I can tick that box that says always use VPN for this site. And if we just go back to uh, the settings there under manage secure network, hopefully our little list should now have Yahoo in it. So let's just click that there, and there you go. Yahoo has now been added. And again, I can add or remove sites as I please to either of these. 
I've got a couple of other options. I can select optimize. Now this is well worth doing. This is the easiest setting. So here it says VPN automatically protects your traffic when using public Wi-Fi, unsecure networks or visiting a site without a valid certificate HTTP. So this conserves data by routing streaming and video content outside the secure network. It also gives you five gigabytes of free VPN per month. Now this this is ideal because it does mean when you're out and about and you're using like say, a coffee shop or a pub or a bar Wi-Fi, then it will automatically turn the VPN on when you're visiting sites. And it also will do it automatically if you're visiting a site on your home connection, which isn't secure, i.e. just uses HTTP in its web address rather than HTTPS. Now, the majority of websites do now use HTTPS, which is secured, which means that the information is encrypted when it leaves your computer till when it gets to its destination. So that is quite a good setting to have on there is the optimized if you're really not sure what you're doing. Now, once again, if you're streaming video, like if you go to Netflix, Amazon, all the major streaming sites, then Microsoft will automatically turn the VPN off for those websites so that you don't gobble up all of your data. Now, please be warned, Microsoft doesn't know about every streaming site. So there might be some streaming sites that you go to that still go through the VPN. If you're not sure, then you've always got this option here to turn the VPN off. The third option you've got here is all sites. Now, this means that it's turned on all the time. And it says here the VPN is used for browsing traffic, including streaming and video content. Using VPN for all sites can quickly use the free VPN data each month. So you get five gigabytes of data. But like I say, if you go to streaming sites, then that is going to get gobbled up in next to no time. I would recommend not using all sites because that will gobble up your free VPN data in next to no time and you won't be able to use it until the next month. So I'm just going to test out this VPN. So I'm going to click on all sites just so that it, it's turned on for all sites. And I'm going to go to a website called what is my IP. And I'm just going to check to see whether or not it's using my actual IP address. And note that IP address there is not my IP address. Neither of them are. And there you go. It tells me there that I'm coming from the city of London. I'm fairly near there, but I'm not actually in the city of London. So therefore that is actually working. That's actually blocked my IP address or cloaked my IP address so that uh, the websites that I'm going to can't actually see my true IP address. Obviously, how do you get to the settings if you've lost the browser essentials or you've lost it off of browser essentials? Now, what you can do is you can go into settings. So go to the three dots at the top there, go to settings and then click on privacy search and services and then scroll down and scroll down to Microsoft Edge Secure Network. And there you can actually select your setting from there. And you can also turn it on and off from that little switch there. So what are the downsides to this free VPN? Well, one of the things is now this is still in its infancy. But when you go to a website, there's nothing in here which basically gives you an indication whether the VPN is on or off. Now, it would be good to have something along the top of the screen here to let you know that the VPN is active and when it's not. Now, the other downside to it, unlike other VPNs, is this will only work in Edge. If you go, go browsing websites in Chrome, in Brave, in Firefox, then unfortunately it won't work. And if you use other apps on Windows, it won't work in them either. It will only work when you're using Edge. Now, I think it's very, very unlikely that Microsoft are going to build their own independent app to protect other apps on your system with a VPN because they really do want to encourage you to use Edge rather than another browser. But who knows? It might come in in the future.
I hope you liked this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.